trucks have to navigate that. It's insane. Are you okay to drive this? Honey? Our new home, Mutino Nondo Wilderness. Stanley's nose up for sleeping. So we have this beautiful thatched little what do they call these lappers? Yeah. Uh, place for cooking. Tons of firewood, which is great. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Oh, we have a cupboard. I guess we can put our pots and pans and stuff in there. And then over there, in that little square box, is a cool toilet. It's like a long drop style, but it's really nicely done. So, oh, hello, little critter. So yeah, so it's really, really nice and eerie. <sighs> so good to be here. That was such a, a bad road. I'm so excited we're going to cook up a storm. Okay guys, so it's time to make a fire. I'm just getting the fire going and I brought some really nice white beans. I'll just show you those. Which I'm going to cook up in my putty, which I'm going to get out and get ready. But first, Every good housewife needs a really good fire. These, these things are like pots and they're really amazing. They're like, they had some kind of big bean pods and they just burn hot and fast. When you drive over these, they go crunch, crunch and you think something's broken. You want to see what's in here? This is a very cool shower. A little bit like mash like, hole through the roof, but your clothes won't get wet. And over here, they have this other old fashioned, that's what they call a donkey. So they have the solar water heater here. 
which is probably plenty. This is a donkey. So they fill that up and the water, it's like a wetback system. Hey. Oh, there's a laundry sink. Okay, and the fire's looking really good. Such a great campsite. Stoked. Feel very hunter-gatherer. The billy's on for a cup of tea. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we've seen him. Let's get that on. It's a good day. It's a great day. What's this on? Isn't it, it ironic? Right, I love it. Isn't it ironic that we drove on two paved roads and two dirt tracks? I know the dirt tracks. And the were... only one was one of the paved roads. Yeah. Like that was dangerous. That was not. Mm. It, it really required good. a lot of concentration. We have some humor on the fire and a brewers and a couple of courgettes and I think we'll be good. The beans are now just chilling out over here. But um and we've heard lots of thunder. The sun has already set and dusk is falling, but we're set, really set up. Scary. It doesn't look any easier the closer I get. So there are all these red arrows oh, from, the oh, from the race. So, this so they the come arrow. running down this, which looks yeah. fairly ominous. So yeah, it's a 50 kilometer um, ultra marathon thing. Oh, so I don't think it's 50k for the running. No? It's 50k for the cycling. Ah, okay, okay. Wow. So I guess you want to go up this? Mm. I wonder what that's like coming down. Okay, so that's peak one and two complete. They're very steep and quite tiring. And now we cross over the valley to peak three and four. And then on to peak four, which um, is very high. So this is number three, which isn't too bad because it's quite long and snaky. But we can see number four in the distance. Okay, so we did actually finally make it up peak number four, which wasn't as bad as expected because we came up the backside and it was fine. And now we've got the big descent and then we're off to Paradise Pools. Yay! So we've just clambered around the side 
And now we're going to take a little dip. Water looks a bit green, but it should be refreshing. How is it? Very refreshing. We had a big long hike today. So we got pretty hot. Yeah, it's lovely. Really lovely. Anyway, my turn. I want to get in. Well, we're just having a sundown now. And um, it's going to go down over there. But we're just, we're just looking out one of the most superb views in all of Zambia, we think. There's a lovely spot here in Mutinondo. It's this epic landscape with these granite cliffs and granite massifs. And then this amazing Miombo forest. And it really is just the most perfect place to walk around. It's great to be able to just do this stuff on our own freely because in so many places you have to have a guide, you have to pay access yeah. fees, whereas here it's just fantastic. We, we love it. So anyway, cheers. Anyway, both. cheers. Here's to the sundown. And here's people. to just being in a wonderful place. Here's to place. Mutinondo. We're so grateful, yeah, Mutinondo. It's Best place in Zambia.